Hi guys, I'm out here at the hideout. It is extremely hot today. I was thinking about working on a fence, but um, I have a lot of overgrown tumbleweeds. I gotta mow down uh, today. So I got the lawnmower out and I'll just be mowing the entire property today. Here's my lawnmower and <laughs> like everything else in life, uh, it's not working. It's not even catching. Um, so I'll be working on this first before I can mow. I'll take it apart over by the house in the shade and try to figure it out. This string is not even catching on anything in there. It is spinning, but it's not catching. We're gonna see if this little guy fits. It should. Let's see this nice. Oh yeah. Perfect. This cap here is a replacement cap, and when you spin it, when it goes back in, this little silver thing is supposed to pop out. This little silver thing right here is supposed to pop out to catch the teeth in here, and so that's not happening for whatever reason. It's not popping out. And I don't know how to fix it, but I thought I'd start with some WD-40. I first started with some triage. Um, I was hopeful that I could, you know, spray that WD-40 and it would start working. And it did turn on uh, twice. It did catch, but um, in between those two times, I probably tried uh, pulling the string probably like 50 times in between um, it catching and so I went ahead and ordered um, a new piece off of Amazon. I've replaced the recoil starter in this lawnmower probably twice. Um, the first time was about five years ago. I had a roommate and they just pulled on the string too hard and the string just snapped. Um, it was very old and uh, I keep my lawnmowers out there and um, outside under the deck um, instead of um, like in a nice shed. And so this is my second replacement. Uh, this one is just not catching. Um, and it's only five years old, but um, it needs to be replaced. Hey guys, so I got the hood off right now and there's no way to get this through here. So we're gonna have to cut this and feed it through there. Get your string, you don't wanna let go. You're gonna lose it if you do let go. Grab a tool, any tool, wrap it around. Do not make a knot in this tool, otherwise you won't be able to get it off um, when you let the string go. Grab this, put it through the hood. Grab your handle, feed it back through your handle. It should go straight up. I don't think you need two knots, but I think it's pretty good to have them. Oh, there. Let it go. Let's see what happens. It should fall in there, both knots. Very good. You can clip off the end of this if you want. And leave it. I don't care. Okay, I got my screw right here. I just found the hole. I'm going to try to just get one of these little guys in. These screws are so tiny. Um, switch um oh my gosh they're so little <laughs> they're teeny tiny little screw do you see that it's so little i don't even know if it pops up on camera i think at one time i did have three screws on this i don't know where the hell they went they're... i'm gonna throw the hood back on I'm gonna pull the string out real quick just to, I'm gonna do it slowly so I don't just start the engine. Um, pull it a little bit more, a little bit more. You can hook it right here. I'm gonna hook it. I'm 
going to invest in a riding lawnmower, but right now I just have this push mower. Um, it's super old, but it does the job. I had the blades uh, sharpened probably like four years ago, and um, it's time for an oil change and probably, probably the blades being sharpened again. Um, but it works like a champ, and so I don't want to replace things that still work. I'm not one of those people, so I'll just keep using it until it seizes all the way up.